Today, what I want you to be uh, aware of with yourself is how you are intermittently reinforcing the behaviors that you want. You're picking it intermittently, not picking all the time. With the kneeling, of course, it's about finding the groove and then going intermittently with the click. Okay? Behaviors that your dogs already know, I want you now not to use the click anymore. Now you're going to replace it with. Praise. Praise. Yeah, fantastic. Exactly. Pet and, a, pet and a praise. Good boy. Good girl. Whatever it may be, okay? Katie, I want, to, I want to see how you're using your tones, okay? Of your voices. I know, Carmen, you're not, you're not, you're not 100% yet. Um, but Portia's been doing... She's, she, it's a lovely relationship that you have with her. She's so attentive to you. Mm, yeah, so Now, just a few things to clarify with you guys. So our next class is our final class, okay, of the basic, which means it's the actual official end of our first and second parts of our training program, okay. So we're going to continue with the third and the fourth part when I get back at the, at the uh, end of March. But what I'll do is I'll email you with exact dates and everything, exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, what I do need is the 250 deposit by the end of by the next by the end of this, which is the next class. Okay. Um, the other thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys is now there is a there's a week coming up from Thursday. Yeah, from Thursday till the next. That I have a bit of time there uh, in between clients and that, that I would like us maybe to meet at the Humane Society and we can do some things together. Rana has a week off from the vet school, so she's going to be doing a lot of tech tests. So I can let you know ahead of time when there's temp tests, so it's really good you can, you can decide. You sign up online, do some walking with the dogs, the same time that Brenda's going to be there, do what needs to be done, then you can come and watch a temp test. Okay. It's a really, really good way to. To um, and again, I'll, I'll just send an email and I'll give you options of when I'm going to go, etc., etc., okay? Um, and I'd also like to get some feedback from you guys, how it's been there, what you've been doing, what you, how, when, when did you go, when did you walk? Or Beth and I had quite the experience there on oh Friday. <laughs> it was just with another volunteer. It was, it was pretty, it was kooky. It was what, really was, what, what? She, well, the way that she kind of made herself seem is that she was, A, a professional dog trainer, knew everything there was. I don't know exactly was. who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. <laughs> she's a, she's a, a tall, uh, overweight. A little bit. I can't remember her name. The, uh, at least, least. Yeah, yeah. But she was very, oh, it was, it was, me and Brad. She's your safe. Did she say, do you want to train off. dogs with me? We're like, yeah, we'll watch sure. him. We'll, like, you know, click a train Sarge or whatever. Cool. cool. And then she was like. I've only been here since the middle of the summer. We're like, no, like... Yeah, she was like, no, 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 once they know sit, did you tell her that you're going to try to try Yeah, and she then she said, well, everyone has their different ways. Yeah, she said, but the right way is to do it like this. But she said, you're never supposed to put the tree directly in the dog's mouth. Throw it, You're supposed to throw it, and... Anyway... Once the dog knows how to sit, you click before the dog sits, and you start... Getting away from clicking when the dog sits and just click before and on. She's trying to say the right things. Yes. yes. I mean, yes. she's like leaning towards the right way, right? Well, like it was shaping like, it so before yeah. the dog sits, clicking it. It was just weird before. because we talked about it for like 20 minutes before we actually took the dog into the room and we were like, no, no, we're good, let's just take the dog in. Yeah. <laughs> and we, 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 we've done this, we're doing it with our own dogs too right now. It was, yeah. <laughs> At the end of it, she was like, you guys, you're going to drive me home, right? <laughs> 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 it's very in your face, but it was entertaining. And it's good. And we got to spend time with some good dogs. Awesome.
awesome day. Yes, I'm all the time watching how your dogs are settling. Carmen, mm -hmm. always getting pushed into the down. Okay, just like that now. That's it. All right, so how did the, have you completed the spin? Uh, she can spin following the wand. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the single. Okay. okay. So you're still retracting the target. Right. For some reason, he has completely picked it up. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but the, the sit, or the stay with me walking around, he has a problem with me being behind him still. But the spin, it was two days we worked on it, and then um, my other, my, my roommate set it to a minute. It's just like, I just did it on camera. Oh, awesome. That's great. Okay, so then you have a look at that. Start with Porsche. Spin. Started to name it? No. Okay. So now a solid spin with following the target, you're putting the name in. Go for it. Spin. Good. And you see how she perked up then when she heard the <laughs> the, the name? Yep. And again. With the name. Spin. You can, you can leave the leaf. Okay. It's fine. Awesome. Now you're gonna start with the target. And midway through the circle, you're going to take it away and say spin at the same time. Spin. Spin. Beautiful. Okay, so you want to click. Where's your clicker? Okay. Keep it in your hand. Okay? So you click on time. So you're doing the same thing again. Spin. Good. Okay, now you're going to start with the target and you're going to take it away as soon as you see she's going to do it. Spin. Spin. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful elimination of the target. Yeah. Okay, give her three treats for that end there. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly the way you do it. It's a very, very easy behavior to learn how to use the target and how to eliminate the target. Mm -hmm. Okay? Fantastic. And you take a seat with her. Let's have a look with uh, Ollie. Mm -hmm. I don't have my target with me. I need to film the car. Oh, Ollie suits you much better than Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always. I try to say Oliver if it's I have both dogs because Bowie, I guess, sounds like Oliver. I don't know. Oh my God. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, let's see Ollie show. <laughs> okay. Be careful. Be patient with yourself. Okay. That's my problem, so it's so frustrating. And this like, is one of the things off. that we learn about through training, about yeah. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is he doing a full spin at home? Yeah, it's like... So why are you clicking when he hasn't even... Because he does this now, and I don't know how I almost trained him to do that. He goes like half back and then the other way. Okay. And Maybe now because you're clicking too that. often. Yeah. On the same thing. Mm -hmm. Hold your click. Allow him to progress. So finish. Okay. Okay. Go again and don't click. Okay. And start again. Click. <laughs> so what happens when we hold our click? Okay. What happens when we hold our click? Then it's allowing him to be like, okay, what do I have to do? But he's yeah. thinking, thinking harder. Mm -hmm. How to make the click happen. So yeah. if we're too easy with our tool, we're actually hindering our training. Yeah. Okay, we want to progress, and that's very good. That's one of my... Uh, okay, do it one more time. My Come on over here. <laughs> now for your turn. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Come here. Okay. Good. Once he's in... Listen, once he's in the spin and you see it happening, yeah. take, the, take the target away. Like, you don't have to keep it all the way until he's completed it yeah. there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just be a little bit more freer with you. See he's in it, whoop, go away, click. Okay, so go one I more time. With my finger or should I use it? No, no, you, you can use it. Use it. Use it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> click. Okay, you see what I mean now? Mm -hmm. Your target was in front of him when he ended it. 
Yeah. You don't need it. He's done it already. What's the target doing there? Yeah. Okay, do it again. Mm -hmm. With the target. And now I want you to, when he's in it, remove it immediately. Like how? And click his finish. Yes, okay. halfway. Click. Beautifully done there. Okay, now the only thing that you need to do is, while he's doing it, put in the cue. One more time. When he's doing it, halfway. Spin, click. Beautiful. Jackpot one, two, three, and end there. Okay, now we can let Willem show off. Seriously, <laughs> show off. such a small action yeah. in a new environment. Spin. Shake up your treat bag. There we go. Sit, sit. Stay. Stay. Click. Ooh. So notice how your body language changes everything. Yes. So when you, 
because what was happening was you were doing this, and you'll see that on the video. Um, you did sit, stay, and you just walked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he was like, okay, we're we walking now. Yeah. What are we doing? It was unclear. It was unclear for him. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, because what's going to be the difference in the stay when you walk with distance, etc. Okay. So this is a walk around. So the, the, the it's like a stay from the side. And you're stepping in front of your dog, and now you're going to start to walk, and that's very clear. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is let's start off with the. Um, let's start off with the core. Okay, so some more target work. Okay, so once we have the down, all we are doing is it's very important how you're using your hand, your target. In this case, it's also good to use a target, an actual target, because you don't have to break your back bending down there. Okay. Maybe with him it would be easier with the hand. So what you're doing is you gradually and you're watching the back of the of the body that the, the it's got to come up enough on the haunches so that he can do that movement, but it mustn't come up totally. Okay? So what you're doing is you're shaping it in small steps, getting follow movement towards your target. Whether it's a hand target or a down. I'm not going for a lot. Any behavior that you teach, you want to make sure you want to go in baby steps so that you ensure that they're not going wrong. You see, I'm going to go get the treat for the click. Okay? Alright. So, <clears throat> you're going to go ahead and you're going to carry on. You're going to do it. Each of you, you can work along there, you can work along here, and you can work along here. And you can have a click of it. So, I'm watching to see how you're going about using your target. Okay? And how you're going about clicking with your timing in the follow towards your target. And how you're being observant of your dog's body language so that you can see what's going to, what's going to happen when they're going into their core. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, go for it. Maybe go the same way I was going. Okay, Carmen, yes. your target. Do you want to uh, make movement? Do you want to do this? Yeah? Or do you want to do it from the side? From the side, yeah. yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter either way. Just remember that the way that you're using your target, because your target's up in the air, right. she's going to get up to go to it. Okay. So your target should be low down on the ground. So
Okay, come and watch there. What happened? Too, too far forward. And what yeah. happened with her body? She rose. She got up. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So it's about the timing of the click before she gets up. Do you want to use a target stick? Yeah, maybe. So what is so good about the target stick in this behavior is that you can, well, if you know how to use your hand as well, it can be very, very precise. Mm -hmm. dog's not connecting to the target, what you do is touch on the target and click. Touch on the target and click while they're in the down. Then the next time, third time, touch, move your target so they will go towards it, click in the follow. Down. Tell, it, tell him down first. Sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touching on the nose, then moving it forward, dragging okay. it on the ground. Okay. So you're touching like this, it's clear that that's what you want. Okay. Yeah. And then you, and you wait until they move into the other okay. Touch his nose and then move it. And then move it down. Okay. Down to the ground. On the follow movement, be ready to click. Good, Jess. Okay, so you see now, hold up. Very different styles the dogs have. Okay? Uh, William has a lovely down, he's got his uh, head there <laughs> on the paws like that, okay? So he's very settled, so you've got to find that movement that way. He's still figuring out to follow the target, so you're using what he knows, so you're going up there and then down and then down, that's good. Um, and with her, you're understanding that you want to progress each time. Once you've got a movement going, you repeat that same click again, twice. Yes. Then you want to try for a little bit more the third time. She understood it, repeat that again. So you're repeating yourself again. Okay, fantastic. All right. All I want from you guys is, once they understand... Okay, wait. Watching the other hand. Okay, hold up. Hold up, I'm explaining. Um, where was I? Ace. So all you want is one crawl. One crawl to name it. Okay. So a clear crawl with both, I mean both, all four legs are moving. That's a crawl. Okay. Once they've got that going, repeat it, repeat it without any word, repeat it, repeat it. They've got the one crawl going. Fantastic. Each time you click it, do it again, they do it, click, they do it, click. Okay. Now you know that you've got the call. Then in the action, you're naming it. Right? But now we want it to be a longer call. Maybe we want this to be a call until click. Okay? So what you do is, what, does anyone have any suggestions? Once they understood one call, what is the following procedure? Then you name it. Hmm? 
It's you been know. named. Oh, it's the been crawl's been named. Right. Right. Once crawl's happening, it's been named. Now you want to you want it to continue into another crawl or into a crawl that's going to be continuous until click. You hold your click. Yes. You do it again. And then you again you just keep increasing how many crawls. Yep. And eventually But how? Theoretically, explain to me how. Would you have to just like intermit when he oh, when he crawls a little bit more than click and yeah. And then exactly. the next stage and Exactly. So what you're doing? You're saying crawl. You're not clicking that you did before, okay? You're waiting for another start of a crawl click, okay? Then the next time you're going to say crawl, and you're waiting again. It's going to be a little bit more. Click again until you've got a full crawl again. And then what is your dog understanding? This is until click. <laughs> then you could put it on a, on a fixed ratio. What's a fixed ratio? Like the same with the amount. You decide how many crawls you want yeah. to reinforce it. So you'll say a fixed ratio, FR2. Two crawls on one Q. Mm -hmm. FR3, three, three crawls on one Q. Okay? So I want you to go home, and you're going to have fun with that. And you're going to write down to yourself, okay, wait, I'm really now. If I've got one crawl and I went out to continue to a second crawl, I want this to be... Um, Continuous, a continuous behavior until click, then fine, then do it like that. I want this to be FR3, or I want this to be FR2, or I want this to be FR4. Whatever you decide, decide, do it, and then come next week and show me. Okay? Alright. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you videotape yourself with the Jackson and the spin? I will tonight. Do that, okay? Yeah, so, yeah. And then you can share it with me. I will. Uh, the easiest way to share a video yeah. is if you upload it onto a private YouTube. Oh, okay. And then you can share it with me. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, nice. Um, okay, now we're going to go into... Oh, wait, let's do a little bit of play, guys. Sorry. Ooh, let's give them a play break. I think you you're just about there. done. I've time. Time. Oh, that's fine. The time spent? Okay, so you can just <laughs> press record. Yeah. So you can have a little bit of play.